Howdy, Beetle Bailey here, and a nice, actually warm January morning in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Tiny bit of snow left behind. You know, this town has always been interesting to me. Living on the north side of it, as a child, I could view all the lights across town over by the high school, and what I remember most about my childhood was uh, around Christmas time was the lights. I know. Go feel free to laugh if you want to, me staring at the lights. But uh, they always filled me with wonder and somehow with hope. And one of the interesting things I'd like to mention today is that hope. Um, one of my favorite decorations around Christmas time was above the electronic store. Uh, there was a tower, and on top of that tower was a star. And every night that star would be lit up all night long. And to me, it was a symbol of hope. And I felt like no matter what was going on, I was always comforted because of that that hope that I saw there in, in the light. And which also brings me to uh, 1 John 1, uh, I think in verse 7, it talks about being in the light. You know, it's not talking about that kind of light. <laughs> No LEDs, no uh, incandescence, no, no twinkly stars, but it talks about being in the light of Jesus Christ. And uh, opposing, excuse me, the opposite of the Levitical law in chapter 4 of Leviticus, uh, where our sins are literally transferred to an animal for sacrifice. Jesus covered all that for us. So now we have the option, as uh, believers in Him, to live in the light and enjoy the brightness and the future that, that's uh, involved in it. And uh, today, I have a sad, sad time, a sad uh, little task of turning some lights on. <laughs> but, there's always next year and always that coming home.